Peace and love. Welcome. Come on in. Welcome to the dynasty. My beautiful ones, let's get into this energy. Libra. Yes, I hope that you are doing well and feeling lovely. You know that I wish for all those beautiful things for you. Libra. Yes, happy, beautiful Thursday. Uh-huh. Yeah, it is Thursday. Remember, whenever this message meets and greets your eyes and ears, please know that this message is for you. Beautiful ones, anything that you need from me can be found below in the description section. One-on-one -on -one bookings as well as a link to a free natal chart so that you may check all of these beautiful energies from within you. Libra, I just want to say, I love you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you to my new subscribers. Thank you to my current subscribers. Just thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the likes. And thank you for the shares. Okay. Anyone that has come over from TikTok, thank you over there for the shares as well. Wherever you may have found this energy, welcome to the dynasty. Yeah, we're in the house. Diamonds are shining in this energy. I wanted to give you a read, all right? A read before I start my day, beautiful one. Spend some time with you as we exchange energies. I want to thank my, thank my Libras, okay, for being in that energy exchange with me. Yeah, y'all show up and y'all show out. You really do, all right? So, you know, I'm, you know, working out some things when it comes to the channel as to how often I'll be in all of the other zodiacs, but we do know that this is primarily a Libra channel uh-huh and all placements as far as where you have libra placed at in your chart are welcomed here okay so wherever libra is in your chart you are venus energy and this has everything to do with your love pattern and how it is love comes in at the same time so i just wanted to say that because, um, you know, you'll get cross watchers. We get cross watchers over here. And have they checked their chart to know if it's, you know, the energy that it is that belongs to you that you're picking up versus your person, okay? You know how to distinguish the two. But beautiful ones, let's get into this energy. We're going to start off with the Kipper. Uh-huh. I am protected by my host of angels, ancestors, and spirit guides as I channel these messages. I ask that my collaborative is protected as well. Anyone sending the evil eye to me are my Libras. May it be returned back a thousand times to its original sender. Thank you. Spirit cards for Libra. Cards for Libra. We're starting off with the Kipper. We'll pull a couple cards from the Kipper and just check the energy. Mm -hmm. See what's highlighted in this energy. Mm, okay. Wow. Okay. More card spirit. Mm. Okay, and one off the top. All right, let's talk about it. What's highlighting in the energy is the courthouse, okay? I was channeling this earlier, so this is what really made me want to tap in. Because if you can recall in one of our last readings, there was some issues revolving uh, police, okay, um, that came out with the true emotions. So that's been kind of lingering. 
but there is some courthouse issues that are here and they involve a main female and a mature woman, okay? So this is the main chick right here. And this is a mature woman. This can be considered as a matriarch, a mother figure in the family. Now there's a courthouse that sits below the courtship, excuse me, sits below this courthouse, okay? So there is a courtship that is happening, all right? Art that is in the energy, okay? And it has somehow some connection to this courthouse. Mm -hmm. Somebody may be um, in this energy of a courthouse when it involves a courtship, because this is a union of someone, you know, wanting to court or in the beginning stages of what it feels like to be in a partnership, right? False person is here. There's a false person in this energy, okay? And a main male. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I can't help but to see the resemblance between the two. Uh-huh. When it comes to this main male, this man that's in the background of this false person. Mm-hmm. So let's talk about it. Your spirit, your overall energy is a high honor, okay? High honor. Why is the courthouse here? Courthouse. Bad health, okay? Someone is in bad health. Mm. Courthouse in bad health. Courthouse in bad health, spirit. Thank you. Occupation. Hmm. Yeah, this is what somebody does for a living. So someone is in a courthouse and they are possibly not working in their occupation due to bad health, okay? Mm. Possible theft in this energy as well. Tell us about this mature woman. Mature woman. Who's the mature woman? Mm hmm yeah, imprisonment, imprisonment, okay? So this mature woman could have caused someone to be imprisoned. This is what I was picking up on, okay? Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm, message of concern. Someone may want to get a message to you. There is a message of concern that's here as well. False person. Tell us about the false person. False person. Toil and labor, okay? This false person is working really hard. Mm -hmm. Tedious work is what I'm hearing. Mm, for a gift. For a gift. Give me the main female spirit. Thank you. Two cards for the main female. Thoughts and unexpected income, okay? So there's a masculine energy who is thinking about this main female. Uh-huh. And this is the main female right here. Uh-huh. That's her, right? So someone can't get this person out of their mind, this main female out of their mind, and there's some unexpected income, okay? There's some unexpected income that is on their mind as well. Overall energy, despair. This person is in despair, okay? And look at this sign behind. It says, not hiring. Uh-huh, not hiring. So this person may have lost their job, like I mentioned, uh-huh. Occupation has been affected due to some type of illness, okay? There's definitely some type of imprisonment. Mm -hmm. Whether it be mental or physical, it's here. Hmm. Tell us about the courtship. Give me a card for the courtship. Thank you. 
two cards for the courtship. See how somebody is in despair. Because this courtship, they were in a courtship with an official person. Uh-huh. An official person. Or this could be an official person who someone is in despair over entering into a courtship. Someone could be in their head, uh-huh, about you pairing with an official person. Um, let's talk about it. Overall energy. House is here. Hmm. Give me the main male spirit. Main male. Main male. Sudden wealth. Sudden wealth. So... This sudden wealth is unexpected income. Someone is waiting on some money, definitely, to make some changes, okay? Possibly moving. You see there's a masculine here moving, uh -huh, taking their luggage to the car. Mm -hmm. So someone is looking for some money to come in so that they can make a move. That's what I'm saying. Mm. Let's talk about this imprisonment before... Going into the tarot. Uh, imprisonment. Imprisonment. Give me a call for imprisonment. And we know this deck doesn't have very many cards. A coffin, okay? Uh-huh. A coffin. Now, either someone has died or someone wants to bring a death to something, okay? When it comes to this imprisonment. And here's this message again. When it comes to the imprisonment. Mm-hmm. And this is another style of a message of a marriage, okay? Of a marriage with a mature man. Changes are happening in this energy, okay? When it comes to a privileged lady, this would be the Empress energy, beautiful ones. A message of concern is here about a theft. Involving a child or someone innocent, okay? There's some concern here. Hmm. Let's go ahead. Let's get into the tarot. Let's see what spirit wants to reveal. Beautiful ones. My beautiful Libras. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's going on? We're going to use the Martin Witch Tarot today, okay? Mm -hmm. mm, somebody has a lot of grief and regret. Suffering some losses, for sure. Definitely. Five of Cups. It slid out the first time. This time it jumped out of the middle. Okay? So, someone is definitely going through a lot of loss, a lot of grief right now. Despair in this energy. Thank you. Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, spirit. Thank you. Got the Nine of Wands. Hmm. A page of Pentacles. More cards for Libra. 
a Queen of Wands. What else? Thank you. A Two of Wands. Mm. Nine of Swords. Okay, there we go. And the Eight of Cups. So beautiful one. So let's talk about this energy right here. Somebody is feeling some type of great loss when it comes to a Nine of Pentacles energy, okay? Uh-huh. And we know the Nine of Pentacles is about your personal financial gain and your self-sufficiency and also enjoyment and the things that come from the enjoyment, the lux luxuries that you are able to acquire from this enjoyment, right? And there's a Nine of Wands energy that is here next to this Nine of Pentacles. There's this energy of someone feeling like they are close to success and they're not giving up in this energy, okay? Although they may have set some boundaries so that they can achieve what it is they want to achieve. Libra, this is you, okay? This is what I'm feeling. Page of Pentacles is here. And this Page of Pentacles is, you know, a youthful, fresh thought, okay? Whether this person is younger or not, this Page of Pentacles is someone who is in this energy of wanting to be goal-oriented. And they have a desire for a solid beginning, okay? Queen of Wands is here as well. Mm -hmm. And we'll clarify her energy, but I'm already feeling suspect with this energy of this Queen of Wands, okay? She's been showing up kind of raggedy lately. Uh-huh, yeah. Nevertheless, this is an ambitious, confident energy in the upright, okay? And they're feisty. So this is a fire sign, Leo. Aries, Sagittarius energy, okay? So they're naturally fiery. You got this Two of Wands energy. This Two of Wands energy is about making a decision. Somebody having to leave their comfort zone, okay? And making some future plans in this energy. The Nine of Swords is in the reverse, okay? So someone has been dealing with a bunch of anxiety and a bunch of stress. But now it's more so this energy of feeling in despair and wanting to find some help if they have not reached out to find some help already with this energy that they're carrying, okay? This is unfounded worry. This is a person who just has, you know, they're riddled with worries, different type of worries. And that's Eight of Cups energy is the energy of someone really just turning their back to this energy so that they can really move towards something more powerful. You know, this it, it takes a lot of power to walk away, to get your stuff and just go. But this Eight of Cups energy is someone walking away and withdrawing and also letting go. So retreating, uh-huh. It's like, look, I can't deal with this anymore. You know, it's time to pack it up, mm-hmm. And she has her backpack on and she packed it up and she is gone. So let's talk about it. Overall energy is the two of pentacles, okay? With a knight of wands. So all of this started with someone trying to juggle a knight of wands. Someone who is very passionate rushes in really quickly, okay? It doesn't stay very long, okay? And they were in this this person could have a water sign placement, could be a Scorpio cusp is what I'm hearing, okay? Mm-hmm. First deacon. That's what I'm getting with the king of cups. Let's talk about it, okay? Five of cups, five of cups, five of cups. Mm-hmm. It tried so hard not to turn all the way over. It is crossing, but Page of Cups is here. This is about someone, you know, a new love. A new love, okay? Yeah. This new love could be somebody who is younger. This love could just be a fresh love, okay? Yeah. 
like this fish in the cup. Mm -hmm. Fresh like that. But this is also about your inner child and being playful. And it could be a happy surprise, okay? So take it and apply it as such. But I'm seeing this energy as a new love for something. But however it goes, somebody's watching this energy. Page of Swords. Mm -hmm. You got the Page of Swords here. I split the deck. Yeah, someone is watching because there is a union that is meant to take place in this new love. This is where joy is. Uh-huh. This is 1111 possible twin flame energy. Look, and they're in their head about this, okay? This is why they're watching. And who are they watching? Uh-huh. Three of Pentacles. It's multiple energies watching, okay? Collaborative of individuals. Three of Pentacles, okay? Tell us about the Page of Cups, Spirit. Thank you. Wow. Mm. Yeah, somebody wants to move forward and they want to get out of this financial rut that they're in, okay? This is the coldest winter for them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Page of Pentacles is in reverse. Someone's looking to heal their financial hardships because they want to come out of the cold, okay? They would like to come out of the cold and move forward when it comes to this Page of Cups. Now, for some of my Libras, this relationship didn't get off to a start, you know what I mean? A fresh start or even a start, okay, before it ended. So, yeah, apply this energy where it fits because somebody does want to come out and move forward, okay? Yeah, again, this is the coldest winter for them is what I'm getting. Mm-hmm, five of pentacles in reverse. Somebody wants to fix their finances, uh-huh. They don't want to sit in this energy. This is also someone that is looking for forgiveness and they're coming towards the end of a hardship, okay, that it is that they're going through. This is pos positive change if this person, you know, can stay out of their head about it. Mm-hmm. Somebody feels trapped in their head. About this Nine of Pentacles energy. Give us the Nine of Pentacles. Thank you. Empress, okay? Boom. That's that level up. Instant. There you go. So, Libra, you're, like I said, you know, you're in this Nine of Pentacles energy. And you are in full Empress energy. It ain't hard to tell. And that tower, mm-mm, that tower's here. <laughs> Some things have to get torn down for you to walk into this energy of your Ace of Pentacles. This is a new beginning when it comes to your abundance and your prosperity, okay? This is a gift that has been gifted from the Most High. This is Source Energy applying pressure, okay? Because the Empress is pressure, and this is why this tower is here. Some things got tore down behind the Empress energy. Uh-huh. And their creations. Your creations. What it is you're creating. You have the Ace of Pentacles with the Ace of Wands. A tower. It's like something had to give. And it did. And now you're setting this energy up for your pinnacles to get right, to be right, to stay right. Because you're in total creation. And you in your magic bag. You the magician. You're the magician in this energy. Tell us about the empress. Give me the empress. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I like it. All right. Look. The reciprocity you created for yourself. Mm-hmm. This is some balance that had to come. And that's why that tower is the overall energy. The six of pentacles represents things being made fair, things being made right. And it came out with more of your energy. All right. Air energy, Aquarius possible placement. However, this is the king of swords. Mm -hmm. And you see she's represented in feminine form, but she's the king. So it was no more Mr. Nice Guy, no more Mrs. Nice Gal with these energies anymore, okay? 
Source wouldn't have it. Source wouldn't allow it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There was going to be some balance made. Period. There was going to be some equal give and take. So what it is others tried to take from you, the universe doubled it up, okay? Look, Ten of Swords is the overall energy. This needed to be stopped. This needed to be cut out, okay? Because you worked very hard on what it is that it is that you've been investing in, okay? Let's put the deck. This is a new perspective on things that is taking place in this energy, okay? Nine of Wands. Give us this Nine of Wands. Libra, Nine of Wands. Okay. Yeah. You the magician. Magician is here. This Nine of Wands. Mmm. Your overall energy is a page of swords. Hmm. So there's some wounded hero that was in your energy using their resources and they got these resources through spying and watching you however it is that they do it uh-huh watching the queen of swords come on now yeah however it is that they do it and you created these boundaries truth is being told and someone's watching you tell the truth uh-huh you give me the magician with the nine of wands thank you strong magician Mm, when it comes to the lovers, when it comes to the lovers, six of cups, someone from the past, give me the magician and the strength, the magician and the strength, magician and the strength, spirit, thank you, okay, two of cups, mm. This is about the interference in the energy. Three of Cups is here, okay? Uh -huh. There were more than enough energies that were interfering, okay? But this Three of Cups energy, this was some strong resources that they were tapping into, okay? Yeah, strong resources. At least they thought, uh-huh. And these energies celebrated participating in this energy. And you block these energies. And they don't do anything but watch you on the internet. If you're on the internet, these people are watching you. Uh-huh. But they're watching you sitting on top of the world. Top of the world, top of the world, top of the world. They're watching you in your will of fortune energy, okay? I split the deck. That was a missed opportunity, what it is they tried, okay? Yeah, it is. Because this Two of Cups energy is still here. Uh-huh. So the resources, them trying to be this energy of a magician, they set themselves up. So the strength that they use is being returned to its original sender. Uh-huh. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Because you have an energy wanting to come out of the cold with you. In regards to his love. Because when it comes to you, it's a bunch of grief. A bunch of regret, okay? Uh-huh. And they want to move forward in this energy. So whatever it is someone thought they could try to stop, it flopped, okay? That's what I'm getting. Page of Pentacles. What's the Page of Pentacles energy? Okay, so the Ten of Cups is here. Your person could drive a motorcycle, okay? Uh-huh. May have something to do with this reading, all right? It always, yeah, there goes my clarification by the birds. Uh-huh, yeah. It always comes through like this, beautiful ones, all right? Mm-hmm. So this page of pentacles that's here. This ten of cups, they could be in a club of some sort, a biker's club, right? Mm-hmm, or participate. Just like two wheels in general. We got a nine of pentacles here. So this page of pentacles, this is a solid offer. And there is a nine of pentacles here that wants this ten of cups energy, okay? They want a ten of cups energy with you. And this is about, you know, just being in this energy of really being happy and true when it comes to home security. The things that make you feel love when you, you know, a house is a home type of energy, okay? Mm-hmm. Give me the Ten of Cups with the Page of Cups. Ten of Cups with the Page of Cups. Who is that? Who is that? 
Ten of Cups with the Page of Cups, Spirit. Thank you. It's a Four of Wands. That's what it is. This is the Twin Flame energy, okay? This is you being in union with this energy, okay? This Two of Cups energy right here. Mm-hmm. Wow. And it's a King of Pentacles. Possible Earth Placement Capricorn Virgo Taurus, okay? Mm-hmm. Wow. And this person is obsessed with you. This is some type of obsession. This is the devil. And they're obsessed with making this offer to you. A solid offer. Yeah. Give me the queen of wands. So let's go ahead and bust her out. Bam. I split the deck to a queen of pentacles. Okay. Somebody's baby mama. Uh-huh. Somebody's baby mama. But let's talk about it. Who's the queen of wands? I feel like it's the queen of pentacles now. Okay. It is what it is. Queen of wands. Queen of wands. Queen of wands. Oh, seven of pentacles. See, this energy was someone who was invested. They invested. Look, check this out. They invested on trying to create some turmoil in your energy. Ace of Wands, this is about the ultimate creation. But they invested and created, okay? But they needed others to help. Three of Pentacles, there you go again, okay? Three of Pentacles, yeah. This wants to be seen too. Ace of Pentacles, a tower. That's what they invested in. Give me the Seven of Pentacles with this Queen of Wands. Seven of Pentacles with the Queen of Wands. All right. Temperance Angel. Somebody tried to create some balance. Uh-huh. They invested. This Queen of Wands invested in creating some balance when it came to the Ace of Cups, okay? They wanted some love, but guess what? It's a missed opportunity. Uh-huh. Go sit down, girl. Go sit down. Sit, boo-boo, sit is what I'm hearing. I split the deck. That's the truth. Here's the sun, okay? Mm-hmm. And it doesn't need to come out tomorrow because it's out today. Yeah. Ah, uh, when it comes to the King of Cups. So somebody made some type of investment. Mm -hmm. And they wanted to see it grow at the same time as Queen of Wands here. Tell us more. Tell us more, Spirit, okay? Tell us more. Temperance Angel with the Seven of Pentacles. Their investment. They wanted to create a balance. Uh-huh. When it came to love. This is someone who can't let go. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, and they got judgment for it, okay? And like I said, look, <laughs> this energy is being judged, all right? Look, check this out, beautiful ones. They're trapped in their head about the lovers, okay? Because everything that they invested in, it went flop, like I said. Uh-huh, it did. It flopped, uh-huh. Uh-huh, mm -hmm. yeah. I told you the Queen of Wands wasn't right. She was feeling feisty when she came out. Mm -hmm. Two of Wands. Two of Wands, spirit. Give me this Two of Wands for my Libra. Super synergy. Two of Wands. Moving forward. Oh, okay. Mm, now, there we go. Let me not accept this. All right, beautiful one. So Ace of Wands is here. This is the ultimate creation, okay? This is you moving forward, creating, okay? No one can stop your flow. No one. You in flow. Overall energy, that's the truth, okay? That is the truth. Your whole empress out here. No one can stop your flow. Mm. You're in this energy of reaching for everything that it is that is yours. I split the deck. Yeah, you have a new perspective, all right? When it comes to things, thoughts, even that person from the past. Some of you don't have that feeling you once had. It doesn't even exist. It's not a nostalgic moment anymore, okay? It's a new perspective on that Six of Cups energy. Let's talk about it some more. Two of Wands with the Ace of Wands. I love this energy. Two of Wands with the Ace of Wands. Thank you. The devil is here. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. It is here because this overall energy is a king of pentacles. And check it. This, they're very passionate about you, okay? Mm, Hierophant is here. With the ten of cups. This is ordained, okay? This is something... Wow, I, look, Spirit is telling me this person ain't going to play about you in no form or fashion. And this person works very hard 
to become this King of Pentacles energy, okay? That's what I'm getting. Give me the devil. Give me the devil. Why is the devil here? Thank you. Somebody's trapped in their head. This energy is trapped in their head about you, okay? Now, I don't know if you've spoken to this person yet because this is a new energy. Queen of Cups, all right? And your cup is open. So you have some compassion. If you know who this energy is, if this new person is already in your life, because this is what I'm getting. I'm not getting a person from the past, okay? I'm getting the King of Cups, okay? That's exactly who I'm getting. The King on top of the Queen of Cups, okay? Someone who that is very emotional um, are in this energy of wanting to share their emotions with a King and Cup. And this is a wish fulfillment. The Nine of Cups, all right? This is a whole lot of water right here, beautiful ones. Uh-huh, a whole lot of water. And there's a queen, a king of pentacles energy, flipping switch these energies, okay? That has either linked up with someone or this person is in your energy making their way to you. You keep doing the work that it takes for you, okay? Because you draw this energy towards you, uh-huh? It doesn't just appear, uh-huh? So, beautiful ones, definitely, there's a king and queen of cups who is a wish fulfillment. I mean, wow. And it's creating some chaos, okay? Five of wands. There's some jealousy and some possible competition in this energy. I split the deck. A king of wands is here. This is who's hating. There's a king of wands who's hating on this situation. Now, this is a Sagittarius placement. It is a fire sign. Uh -huh. They're hating on the queen of swords. They're hating on you. I can't make this up. This energy flow is way too raw and real, okay? They're hating on you, moving on into a energy that is a two of cups, okay? Mm-hmm. A lot of you encountered a false twin flame, a karmic, okay? And if they were your twin flame, they were karmic, uh-huh? And we're moving past the karmics because the coin is linked to our abundance and we're trying to build things in this lifetime mm -hmm. and it ain't just love okay <laughs> what it is that we build would be through the energy of love and you can't have that walking a one-way street it got to come from both areas all right beautiful ones let's talk about it some more now someone is in their head this is i mean look you got two energies that are in their head. Someone's trying to get some help about it. Someone needs some help, okay? But I want to tap into this energy. This eight of swords and this devil. Eight of swords and the devil. Eight of swords and the devil. Okay. High priestess. Look, you already know. High priestess energy. This is you going in, internalizing everything that has taken place, okay? And you're still healing because you got this ten of swords here. You're healing from this energy of this king of wands that wants to show face, okay? But you're holding a lot of your emotions in. Yeah, from someone who rushed into your energy and rushed out, okay? And made abrupt changes in your life due to the energy that they were frequencing off of, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, nine of swords, spirit in reverse. Nine of swords in reverse. Thank you. It's a king of cups. Wow. So this king of cups that we see in his head, he's trying to come out of his head. And he wants some forgiveness, all right? You may not be talking to this energy, okay? This is a water sign. Flip and switch these energies. But you may not be talking to this energy is what I'm getting. If, if they have come into your energy yet. Mm-hmm. But there is a water sign. So take it and apply it as such. And that Scorpio Cancer, Pisces. This energy is wanting to face, get some help, okay? They need some help. Mm-hmm. They're feeling a sense of despair when it comes to you. Let's talk about it. Wow, this overall energy, this energy wants to take a chance and be free. But they're in their head. Seven of Cups. This person has suffered from past pain. 
Give me this Ten of Cups. This King of Cups with the Nine of Swords in reverse. King of Cups. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Yeah, Five of Wands. There is some conflict, some chaos around this King of Cups. And there's a death. Uh-huh. It, it needs to be put to a death. It has been put to a death or it's about to be put to a death. When it comes to this wish fulfillment, this Nine of Cups, all right? Mm. Why is the Five of Wands here? Five of Wands. Five of Wands with the King of Cups. Oh, Seven of Swords. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so possible lies. Some lies. Some lies have been told by the Three of Cups energy. There's some lies that have been told. And Six of Wands, this is somebody that lost and they're being seen as, this is some type of embarrassing lie that's been told. And it's a heartbreaking energy from a person from the past. Let's talk about it. Seven of Swords, Seven of Swords. Tell us about this energy. Seven of Swords, thank you. Yeah. Mmm. So this is someone wanting to, this King of Cups wants to protect themselves against, they have energies blocked, okay? They're blocking someone. They're protecting their energy. They're protecting themselves. They feel like they have to protect themselves against people who are coming together to collaborate against them. Three of Pentacles, okay? Mm-hmm. And some justice. With justice. So there's some justice that is happening when it comes to someone stealing somebody. I hear intellectual property in my head, okay? Uh-huh. So they're blocking this energy. However, this... Mm -mm. Who is the Three of Pentacles with the Seven of Wands? Who is the Three of Pentacles with the Seven of Wands? The Hermit. Mm-hmm. And I said intellectual property. This is somebody on the internet, okay? Whatever it is you do, whoever it is, you know, um, that is in your energy, they're watching what it is that you do online. But this is coming to a death. Oh, they're watching you. They're watching this King of Cups energy. Love, okay? They love life. They're following them. They're, they're prying, okay? They're prying. Yeah. And this energy, wow, they feel like they, mm. Because this keeps showing up like this. The Six of Wands energy in the reverse. This is somebody who is shame. And this is some delayed success. They feel some type of failure. When it comes to this heartbreak. But. What I'm getting is this. Look. There's a king of cups who. Needs to you know get some type of help. Or is finding some type of help. When it comes to you know. Their emotions. How it is they're dealing with things. Anxieties and whatnot. Because there's some conflict that is attached to them. There's some competition and some theft that is in their energy. And there is justice that's being here, okay? It's justice is served. This is more of your energy, okay? Beautiful Libras. But this Three of Pentacles is here. This is about someone collaborating and them blocking this energy. But they're still in hermit mode. And this person isn't going in because if they were going in, they wouldn't be worried about what's on the internet, okay? So this is somebody who's into someone else is what I'm getting. And that's that King of Cups. But there's a death here, okay? It's a death. And some things have to end with these energies, okay? Whoever it is that they're blocking themselves, they were collaborating with energies that were putting blocks on them is what I'm hearing, okay? And they're watching, you know, they're wanting to bring a death to an ace of cups. And somebody who's working hard in this energy to do this. Eight of cups, eight of cups, eight of cups. What's the eight of cups? And Libra's energy.
four of swords. Mm. Someone is awake. Someone walked away from it all. Four of swords is in reverse because they've awakened. Yeah, they woke now. Overall energy, they woke to the ten of swords. Yeah, they are. And they woke to this five of swords, this chaos that was created in their energy. Give me the four of swords, four of swords in reverse. What did they awaken to? A king of wands, uh-huh. Yeah, so there's a king of wands that is in this energy, uh-huh. Mm, three of wands. This king of wands is still in the energy looking for some expansion. <laughs> because they see an offer that's coming from an emperor. Yeah, they want to put a death to this offer from an emperor, okay? Because this king of wands wants expansion with you, all right? Now, for my Libras, there is competition in your energy when it comes to you in general. An empress, your whole empress out here. So, yeah, they fighting over you, okay? Now, whether this energy has already taken place in your energy going forward, uh-huh, this is somebody cock blocking, okay? There's no other way to put it, all right? Give us the king of wands. Let's clarify that. King of wands, okay? They're cock blocking, okay? Because they want to move forward in your energy. They want to make some fast movement. And you see, they have a motorcycle, uh-huh, and a wand. So this is someone who wants to move fast and make some magic happen, okay? Uh-huh, create some more balance with this yin and yang, right? Yin yang. I spent the deck. This is a person from the past, beautiful ones. Six of cups, wanting to return into your energy, not wanting to see you move forward with this energy of a king of cups, okay? And creating some issues, some turmoil, okay? But justice is coming in, okay? Justice is coming in because I see a two of cups energy, okay? A two of cups, something that's already divinely put together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This person wants to come up out of the cold because they suffered a lot of loss and a lot of grief. Mm-hmm. They feel like they're at the end of this hardship and it's time for some changes. But those changes don't have anything to do with you. You're in this King of Swords energy. Give us this King of Swords spirit. Give us this King of Swords. King of Swords is the King of Pentacles. Quit playing. So this King of Pentacles energy, a lot of kings, a lot of kings out here. Mm. You could have a Capricorn in your energy. A Earth sign in your energy okay that is also checking for you Libra okay three of cups this energy wants to celebrate with you bring some balance create and that's the truth they want to work together with you this is a business partner I'm feeling like this king of cups yeah I'm feeling like this king of cups is this king of pentacles who operates in an upright energy. You got two kings on top of one another. You got a king of swords. I asked who the king of swords is, and it's the king of pentacles. This is someone who you will be able to build with. Mm -hmm. Who is upright. But they have some controversy that's been created. And this person may also watch you, okay? You may be blocking this energy out as well to some extent. That's what I'm getting. Give me the King of Pentacles. Thank you. Two cards came out. Yeah, somebody, you know, this is hangman time. Somebody feels like this. I mean, it's been something suspended in this energy, okay? And it's an offer. So somebody is holding back on making an offer or they feel that this is a missed opportunity. They do see things from another perspective. Uh-huh. That's who this energy is. And this is someone from the past, from your past, who's holding on. Mm. 
and watching. Two of Cups, Spirit. Give me this Two of Cups. Two of Cups. Three of Cups. This is the energy of celebrating. This is what I get, okay? When it comes to this Queen of Swords. Yeah, you're being told to put your sword down, get out there and celebrate, okay? Because some of you are going to meet your Two of Cups energy in the community if you haven't even met them yet, if you haven't come across them yet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I can't make it up. The lovers is here. Ten of Swords is here. Love after a Ten of Swords energy is bringing a Ace of Cups energy. Some true love, that Two of Cups energy, okay? So this energy, you're being told to be in this energy of a celebratory mode. You may be attending some functions Look forward to attending some functions, okay? Mm-hmm. A gathering. Whether it's a quaint entertainment place, you know, it could be uh, it could be a a lounge, you know, somewhere nice, somewhere where you're gonna meet somebody classy, okay? Uh-huh, somebody with some taste. Mm-hmm. If you don't already know this energy, okay? If this person is not, you know, already in your energy. I'm going to pull on this Four of Wands and then we'll move to the Major Arcanas. Double Majors. Four of Wands. Four of Wands. Four of Wands for Libra. Thank you. Five of Swords. Yeah. Definitely. Somebody has created some type of chaos, some type of barrier. When it comes to your four of wands, okay? Yeah. Wow. Ace of Cups, the Hierophant, and the truth. The truth is being revealed. Uh-huh. And someone is going to take a chance. Ace of Pentacles. Everything is fine. Someone is hurt and acting like everything is fine. They're not seeing anything. Let me get the major arcanas. I think I just put them away too. What's going on in this energy, beautiful ones? Spirit, give me cards for Libra's energy. Thank you, Spirit. Cards for Libra. It's me. Thank you. <laughs> My goodness. All right, these came out. I don't like the way they came out. I'm putting them back in. But justice is here. Uh huh. This is justice people didn't see coming. Temperance is here. This is the temperance who's not balanced. Uh-huh. They refuse to go through a transformation. You got the magician that came out. More cards for Libra. More cards for Libra. It's me. A tower. cards. Hmm. Hmm. These three flip. We got the hermit, we got the nine of wands, and we got the devil, but this is the devil under submission, okay? And one off the top, I'm being told. Mm -hmm. The moon is here. These are some secrets, all right? And the overall energy is this queen of wands energy. So let's talk about it. Mm. Let's see. We got justice here. And justice is here when it comes to these imbalanced energies, all right? A temperance angel who can't find their balance. And we know what a fallen angel is, right? Uh-huh. So the magician is here. 
magician is out of here. And I believe the magician is an, in this same stack, too. I mean, yeah, it is. Look. So you got the magician on top of the magician, all right? People were definitely doing some strong magic, okay? When it came to creating some um, burdens on you and a new love, okay? This is what I'm getting, a new love, all right? So if you feel like you had a relationship or you had some type of interaction with somebody new and it kind of fizzled out, or it kind of went dry, or, you know, you just don't understand what happened. This is what happened, okay? Tell me about the magician. Who's the magician? Okay, and remember, these cards aren't read in reverse. Um, yeah, somebody was creative with creating a tower, okay? They wanted a tower to happen, but someone's in this energy not wanting this tower to happen. So this page of wands, this creative, this inventive, this person in your energy, they don't want this tower to happen. However, there is a tower happening here. This is the tower that is happening, okay? And it's happening to these five of swords, people who brought, you know, the competition. The people who felt like they had to be competitive when it came to your twin flame or your union, four of wands, okay? Mm-hmm. It's a lot going on. I hope y'all keeping up. The overall energy is the devil, okay? It was nothing but the devil that tried to bring this tower. Trying to create something, okay? To end. And that's the truth. That's with the death to the sun. Come on now. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Beautiful ones, okay? So we got this hermit here. Give us the hermit. Give us the hermit and Libra's energy. Oh, the hangman. Uh-huh. Yeah. This is the hangman that's confused. As you can see, he's down off the tree. So this person is sad, down, and out. This is the hermit that is, you know, they feel sorry for themselves. Okay, it's two different hermits here. This is not the one with the light up that has enlightenment and who's going in. This one is just disconnected, okay? And they're in this energy of trying to figure some things out. Mm-hmm. They're clueless as to why it is this suspension didn't work. Mm. And they're a sad, they're crying about it. They're crying about it. A queen of pentacles energy, a mother figure. Mm-hmm. This could be a king of swords energy, somebody who works in the law, law enforcement. But this is someone with a stiff upper lip who is just a jerk, okay? Yeah. Hmm. Tell us about this king of wands, this knight of wands. Knight of wands. Knight of wands. Thank you, Spit. Mmm. Mmm. So this is a Knight of Cups, somebody who offered you a cup of love, who came through like Prince Charming, okay? And a Knight of Wands energy, passionate. And things came to a suspension. Yeah, Hangman, Knight of Cups. And this is the Knight of Cups that came at you in the energy of a lover, okay? Of, you know, Casanova, right? Strong love. Mm. from the king of cups is the judgment now that's what i'm getting the devil is here this is having the devil under submission so i'm feeling like your person that is entering if they have not already entered the new person they needed to get some demons under submission for themselves, okay? And they have them under submission. This is the help that they were looking for when it comes to this nine of swords that's in the reverse. Spirit, give me the devil under submission. Mm. Feel like something fell. Did this fall? Did this come out? Mm -mm. Both the hangmen are... Wow. 
are next to one another. Yeah, this is the new love. I can't make it up. I'm separating this energy, okay? I'm trying to keep up with it myself because I do believe there is a third energy here, okay? But their energy is not as prominent as the others. That's what I'm getting, okay? Uh-huh. Yeah. Are two heavy energies, okay? This knight of... This... Look. Page of Cups is here, beautiful ones. And this Page of Cups... This is the new love, and it's the fish in the cup, okay? So the the other card shows the fish getting away. But this is a new love that is entering, as I said. But they have to deal with their demons, and they're getting them under submission. And this is the judgment, a new love. That's the judgment for you, all right? And there's a king of cups that's feeling some type of sorrow and grief in this energy, why is the page? What's up with the page of cups, spirit? It's free. Thank you. Mm, the chariot. They want to come towards you. They want some type of movement. Definitely. Mm, they're trying to find their balance, though. The moon. Give us the moon. Give us the moon. Give us the moon with this energy. The moon. Mm. I'm taking all of them, okay? So, the moon is here, and this is about a page of pentacles, okay? Somebody wants, hmm, page of pentacles, the strength, and the empress, hmm. So, what I'm getting is that Somebody has a desire to have this fresh, solid beginning because they're goal-oriented in this energy. Okay, this is somebody's truth being exposed because this is the moon. This is what's hidden. This is the secret. But there is, you know... This is, you know, the strength card. The lion is cowering over this woman. The empress. So what I'm feeling like, I'm feeling like somebody is feeling like prey. They're feeling, the empress is feeling like they're prey. Overall energy, wow. The empress is the empress. So after, it's like you don't want to, Feel this energy. You stand, you're sitting on your throne, but you're in this energy of really just self-care. You taking care of yourself. No pressure is what I'm hearing. From a king of wands energy. You don't want no pressure. They can't apply the pressure anyway. This their wand. They can't hold their wand up. Page of wands. But, Spirit, give me the Empress and this strength that is a falsified strength. This is someone, you know, try, who tried to weaken you or wanted to weaken in this energy. Give me the Empress and this weakened strength. Give me the, thank you. Yeah, somebody wants to heal this. They want to... This is the energy of somebody being in this energy of having to keep the faith. Uh-huh. But this is a frustrated magician who's trying to keep their faith. They're wondering why what it is they try it doesn't work. Yeah. And they're looking for it to work. But it's not working. Nine of Wands. With the judgment. And they're a king of cups that's full of sorrow crying behind this judgment that's being given to them. Because they were watching to see, did their magic work on you, okay? Whatever it is they tried, whatever it is they tried, they tried it. Mm-hmm. I'm splitting the deck. They tried it on the queen of swords. But your boundaries, the boundaries that you have placed is your protection. 
Yeah, I can't make it up. This is a Knight of Swords. This is somebody blocking. Okay, they're being blocked. Okay, they're being blocked in your energy. Mm. Yeah, that's what's going on. Let's go ahead. Let's pull some tea cards and go ahead and close out, beautiful ones. I'll be back in your energy later. And I really want you to have a beautiful, beautiful day. Where are those tea cards at? Okay, let's see. Really want you to have a beautiful, blissful day, <laughs> my beautiful Libras. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to lay down for another hour for I, I got some business to take care of today. Taking care of business. Mm -hmm. That's the only way we manifest out here, right? Libra. Thank you. Moving on. That's what you're doing. Thank you. Next. Uh huh. I like. I love this card. Not I like it. I love it. Okay. Moving on. Next. Uh huh. I got a shirt that says that. It says thank you. Next. Okay. Always partying. Somebody is always partying. Okay. I know that's not you, Leva. We out here taking care of business. Travel, okay? I feel like you need a trip, though. Someone is in their head overthinking, stressing, overanalyzing. It's sticking out. I had to pull that. Let's talk about it. What else? What's going on? Uh-huh. Unfazed. You're unfazed by whatever these people got going on. That's the thing about it. Okay, this card. An offer. Yeah, there is an offer on the table, okay? There's an offer in your energy, okay? Something flipped. Yep, mm -hmm. these two, look. You're uninterested. Mm -hmm. And you may be in a synergy of reflecting. Uh huh. Others are definitely reflecting in your energy. Definitely reflecting. More energy. Thank you. Moving. Someone's moving. Uh-huh. You could be moving or your person could be moving. Someone in this energy is moving, okay? Or needs to make a move. Contemplating a move. Uh-huh. Okay. Fake flexing. Somebody's acting rich, floss his money, acts fancy, and shows off. And they're faking it, okay? Cyberbullying is here. Somebody's being bullied online and being stalked online. Cyber stalking, cyber bullying. Yeah, look, looking you up overall energy, researching you and studying you, trying to get into you, okay? I split the deck. Inside scoop, you can't make it up. Come on now. A closer look, nosy, up in your business because they don't have a life and they want the life you have. Yeah, isn't that sick? Sad. Look, because they're having legal issues. Court, judges, immigration, lawyers, etc. So they vicariously live, okay? through your life because they don't want to face their own. This is a form of escapism, okay? Tell us more. Thank you. This card and this came out too. Inside Scoop. Look, fishing for comments. If you're on social media, you're being cyber stalked big time, okay? And guess what? There are so many ways to prove it, all right? There's so many ways to prove it. People aren't as slick as they think they are, okay? They need to go ahead and take some AI courses or some type of um, coding uh, classes to understand that you, you can't get away with this type of energy because it's definitely happening. Let's talk about it. But they need to worry about these legal issues. This is what they need to focus on, okay? These legal issues and these groupies that they're with that are also attached to these legal issues is what I'm hearing, okay? Give me some more energy for Libra. Mm, more energy for Libra. What else is going on? Thank you. Divination abuser. This person gets readings on you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or watches readings on you. Uh-huh. Yeah. And whatever other form of divination, we already know the magician is heavy in this energy, okay? This person likes to force things. They like to force their way to get what they want. And that's what they do with this divination. Overall energy is the forcer. This is someone trying to make things happen. And this is what we saw in this energy. And like I said, it's some cock blocking. Okay? Somebody wants to block a cock. Mm-hmm. 
I'm hearing a cop that can't be stopped. Uh-huh, yeah. Because they want you back, and they know that it can't be stopped. This is why they want it. <laughs> wow, my goodness. What else is going on in Libra's energy? What else is happening in Libra's energy? Mm -hmm. What else? What else? Thank you, Spirit. It's me. Okay, we're going to take these and close out. Overall energy is, they want to be you. When it's all said and done, look, they want to be the Libra. They want to look like you, just like you, smell like you, talk like you, walk like you. They want to do what you do. They want to be who you are. But they're getting bad karma instead. So try again. Bunch of bozo to clowns. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I'm seeing clown noses. They got karmic friends, okay? They don't trust their friends. Their friends don't trust them either, okay? And it's a lot of tension in their group and a secret competition. Just imagine a bunch of losers competing against one another, okay? Mm-hmm. Karmic friends is here. Fake smiles. They go out to the world and smile and they are crying inside because they're sad and lonely. And it's the same shit different day. They've been doing this so long, they don't even know any other way to operate is what I'm hearing, okay? Yeah, let's put some more energy. Spirit says something else. There's something that you must know. Yeah, what is it you must know? These two flip. Mm, the groupies are having legal issues, like I said. Yeah, the groupies are tied up in some type of legal issues, okay? Uh-huh, they can all get it, mm -hmm. and they're all going to laugh at you because you have a bad reputation. They have bad reputations. Wherever they're from, everybody knows their name, and they know their played-out games is what I'm hearing, okay? They like to force things to happen that aren't naturally aligned to happen for them, okay? What else is it we need to know? What else? Give us some more energy for Libra. Thank you. They're giving money. Yeah, they're probably having to pay some legal fees is what I'm hearing, okay? They're giving money. Mm, trying to make things happen, possibly for divination. They ain't shit. No, they're not. Mm -hmm. They are not. What else? And they creeping and they watching and they creeping and they watching and they watching. That's what we do now, right? Trying to watch any way they can. Ooh, that's way too many. Let's get a couple more, Spirit. Thank you. Mm. Okay, this one wants to come out. Moves in silence, okay? You move in silence, Libra. Uh-huh. These energies are bankrupt. And this one wants to be seen. And they're hooked on you and your energy, okay? Captain Hook is what I heard. Unfortunately, the hook is broke. You see it? It's broke. So that means something isn't hooking like it should. I split the deck. They're the forcer. They want to force something to happen that is not meant to happen, okay? They're probably carless and had a car repossession are about to have one because they're dealing with all this bad karma. This is your read, <laughs> beautiful ones. I'll be back in your energy a little later today. I love you. Peace and love. I am Empress 444, Tarot Dynasty.